Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use C Sharp to connect with SQL Server database and get the content from it. So first thing, open Visual Studio, click on File, then New, then Project. Okay, here we have to choose C Sharp Console Project. So let's choose console application. Then you can choose C Sharp MS SQL. Okay, so that's my name, project name. And I have selected console application. Click on OK. Okay, now I have to wait till it finishes creating a project and it's list of files after that I'm going to directly connect to SQL server by using class entry known as system data SQL client so let's type that using system dot data dot SQL client okay now inside the program you can go to static void main method and here we are going to type our code so let's start with SQL connection con equals to new SQL connection and here we specify the server Okay, so server equals to dot backward slash SQL Express, then semicolon, then database equals to cells DB. Okay, so you can check that database for my case in database tree. And here I have this sales TV table and I'm going to use that here okay then you have to mention integrated security so that you don't have permission issues okay you can set to capital true and then semicolon okay now finally here you have to use the semicolon as well now create connection open so that we get connected to SQL server then we have to create SQL command and we have to create one object named CMD then new SQL command and here I want to get entire database content so I'm going to use select star then from and I want to specify which table to access to so go to cells DB then for views you will have saved views or you can create a new view okay so let's check out if it has a default view so it has plenty of views to check out so let's go to table right click on it and select top thousand rows okay so it will make the query and you will get a list of rows here so our database name is cells db then you have table name dbo cells log i'm going to copy that and paste it here okay now after that we will also need to mention our connection object here which is gone okay now next thing we have to create sql data reader so object for that is reader equals to cmd dot execute reader okay so let's find out where is execute reader okay so here it is and now what we're gonna do is we're going to put 
this into loop and check out all the rows first before exiting that loop okay make sure that it is curly bracket okay now on console dot right line we are using right line because we want new entry on a new line okay so here i want to output row zero or you can see column zero and column one okay then we have to also use reader dot get int 32 because first entry here is basically numbers okay then we have reader dot get string And make sure that you have your double quotes only for these two okay now just close this out and check if everything is properly done okay so reader dot get in 32 and get string one so our database has first column which has integer and then string okay now after this while loop I want to close the reader okay so that it stops querying then we also want to close the connection okay and finally console dot read line so that it can pause the output in case if you are running debugger you can also use loop to check whether it uses debugger and then use console dot read line okay so let's run this and see if we have any issues or if we get our output so the build had started to go through certain process and then it will show us command line pop-up okay so it is showing me the first column and the second column with those four entries that you can find inside your MS SQL database okay so this works perfectly you can also add another set of rows if you want you just have to use two here and then use reader dot get string two Okay, make sure that it is string and you can also add any other additional columns if you want so let's start and check if it works okay so as you can see it works you just have to specifically specify and get the output okay so this was a short video on how you can connect with SQL server with the help of your C sharp Okay, so what we did, we first called for SQL client class from system data SQL client and then we created connection using SQL connection, then opened our connection, then created query using SQL command, then use SQL data reader to go through the data and read the content. Then we are printing it out and finally closing connections then holding the output so you can pause the video go through the code and try this on your own